guys so welcome back of you guys are feeling good my name is Ukwemi Bikikram so a dirty run inside Manchester United Stadium led this man to Islam let's check it out so I came from a Christian background where my parents would weekly go to a Christian church and this was once a church and now alhamdulillah a masjid revert stories are fascinating there are so many paths to Islam but what happened to former Christian teen is quite surprising and unique in its own way. Sitting in a mosque, giving a talk, this brother, used to work for the famous football club Manchester United, found a copy of the Quran in the stadium, Old Trafford. He found this very strange. This was a place full of crazy football fans. This was a place where people consumed alcohol and cheered on their favorite teams. How did a copy of the Quran end up right here, in the middle of the stadium? It just didn't make sense to him. The condition of the Quran was a bit dirty, and he said that he had a very strong feeling to pick it up and clean it. He couldn't explain why he felt that way. He could have left it there and not paid any attention. But something in him forced him to take it with him. When he reached his house, he cleaned the blue-covered manuscript, put it in his room, and then went to make a cup of tea. While he was in the kitchen, he heard his partner screaming. He rushed to her and saw that she was holding the book high up in the air and angrily shouting, What is this book doing here? This book should not be in our house. I will throw it into the rubbish. Yusuf found himself rushing to the Quran's defense. He could not understand why he was being protective, but some feeling in his heart compelled him to do it. He said to his partner, If you throw this in the rubbish, I will put you in the rubbish first. Yusuf's partner was quite shocked to see his response, and she asked him why he was behaving like this. He wasn't even a Muslim. Yusuf replied that he was very ignorant of her to throw something away without even giving it a chance. His partner hadn't even opened it to read one verse and contemplated on it and was so brainwashed that she just wanted it out of his sight. The Quran stayed where it was and Yusuf's partner was not allowed to move it. At this time, Yusuf did not know much about Islam and had never ever thought about becoming a Muslim. Few years later, Yusuf went on a trip with his friends to Ibiza. They planned to go to this popular destination to spend time partying and drinking. One evening, they decided to go to a nightclub called Eden, which means paradise. When they reached, Yusuf saw that the nightclub was built like a mosque. When Yusuf saw this, he thought that this was very strange. Why is a place where there is drinking and partying built like a place of worship? It made Yusuf very uncomfortable. And again, the same feeling from years before it came back into his heart and prompted him to refuse to go in. He said to his friends, I am not going to the club tonight. His reaction angered his friends and partner. She again asked him why he was getting so sensitive. He wasn't even a Muslim, but Yusuf still defended his position and did not feel it was the right thing to do. During both these incidents, Yusuf was no way near to becoming a Muslim. He was surprised by his own behavior because he hadn't even thought about accepting Islam at this stage. So why did he behave that way? The answer he now believes is fitra. Fitra is an Arabic term that has significant meaning in Islam. It refers to the natural state of human beings, which is characterized by an innate disposition towards recognizing the existence of God and submitting to his will. Fitra is often translated as primordial nature, innate disposition, or original disposition. Allah Almighty has given the gift of fitra to every single human being. Does not matter what specific religion you have been raised into or what culture and society you live in. Fitra is a universal trait that transcends everything. Yusuf believes that every time that he defended Islam, it was because of his fitra. It was because he knew that it was the right thing to do. 
from picking up the Quran to refusing to go into the nightclub that looked like the mosque. Fast forward a few years, Yusuf came to know some people who had taken their shahada and reverted, but he still kept on going to the church, doing his due diligence. He used to regularly question the priests, looking for answers to help clear his confusions. He soon met a Muslim who could answer all of his questions. Yusuf felt so satisfied and at peace that he finally decided that it was the right time for him to revert. He contacted a local mosque and recited the Shahada. This started Yusuf's journey into Islam. He acknowledges that the journey into Islam has not been easy, and he believes that it's even harder for women as they have to make a lot more changes. The advice he gives to his new reverts is, be patient, stay steadfast, and honor those who honor you. Give time to the Book of Allah and develop your deen. Yusuf's story is a great example of the fact that every person is born knowing that there is one God. But if they are then raised in a non-Muslim family, they end up adopting wrong beliefs and practices. A lot of people question that, is it really not a non-Muslim fault that they were born into a family that practices other religion? Is it right that they should be held accountable for it on the Day of Judgment? The answer to that lies in Yusuf's story and many other revert stories. Since Allah has blessed us all with fitrah, He provides opportunities to every human being to go in search of guidance and find out the truth. Take Yusuf's example. There was something in his heart that led him to bring a copy of the Quran home and refuse to go into the nightclub. It only took two events and two right decisions from him that his fitrah started getting more and more stronger by the will of Allah and eventually it led him towards Islam. All non-Muslims do face situations and events where they are given the choice of acting on their fitrah or against it. Those who go against it keep going further and further away. But those who choose to listen to the calling of their heart and choose the good path, they receive further blessings and guidance from Allah, which can eventually lead them towards accepting Islam. This is also why spreading the message of Islam is so important. It is our job as Muslims to make sure that we convey the message of Islam to non-Muslims. We will be asked on the Day of Judgment whether we helped other people come to the truth or not. Hope you liked today's video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Remember to share this video with Muslim and non-Muslim family and friends and convey the message of Islam. Wow, what a beautiful story, guys. I love how it all began. You know, faith actually found him. Because if faith didn't found him, he wouldn't have seen that um, Quran that was dirty in the stadium. If faith found you and it's, it's the right time for you to do something and something keep pushing you or something just come your way, you know that, yes, this is a big sign that the religion is a proper religion for him. So I love how he took the post there, you know, took the Quran to, to the house, you know, the girlfriend got furious, angry, wanted to throw it into the, you know, into the rubbish, into the dustbin. He didn't halal it. He stayed steadfast. steadfast. He read the Quran to know more about it. And I just love the boost step he took. I love the fact that, you know, he never gave up and he gave it a try and wanted to know what this Quran is all about. For him to have found the Quran in an unexpected place, that motivated him to actually learn more about it and say no oh, i must read this quran know what this quran wants to do for me let me know what this islam is all about and that's how his journey to islam started and since then he has been an happy person you know he said islam has changed his life and he also said something that one thing you notice about islam is that it changed your life drastically like it changed your life so so well people can even see it in you that your life have changed due to your dressing Due to your ways, you know, way of life, and he said the people that it affects mostly are 
are the women, the ladies, because everything about them will change. Their lifestyle, there are some places they go that they can't go again. There are some things they do before they cannot do it again because they are not a Muslim, you know, sister. You know, they have to cover up from up to ground that if you take a decision, it's a decision that you cannot, you know, go back to. You cannot move back. You have to stick to your decision and follow the religion diligently. And I really enjoyed this story. This was really touching and interesting. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.